Good morning, it's Coach. I'm coming to you again this week just to give you some words of encouragement uh, before you start your new week. I was thinking about what to share this morning, and I was reminded of a movie uh, entitled Home Alone. Uh, I remember watching this movie as a kid. It's a classic. Uh, the movie is about a young man by the name of Kevin, and Kevin's family went to Paris uh, for Christmas. They did a Christmas vacation trip, and the morning of the trip, it was hectic. Um, they was just moving around real fast. Kevin wasn't the most liked sibling. He had a whole lot of siblings. And long story short, Kevin got left behind. Um, they leave and he's left home alone. And he had to fend off a couple of guys that was trying to break into his home. It reminded me of kind of the state we're in. Right now, we've been asked to stay at home uh, for the safety of ourselves and others due to COVID-19. The difference between us and Kevin is we are confined to our homes but we are not alone in this. We're not alone. First of all, we have to realize that we have God. Psalm 46 1 says that God is our refuge, He's our strength, and He's our ever present help in times of trouble. So we do have God. Second, we have to realize that we have each other. Uh, Proverbs 17 17 says that a friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born in adversity. So during adversity, it's when we need each other the most. That's when we need family. That's when we need brothers. That's when we need sisters. That's when we need to come together because we need each other in times of adversity. So we're not home alone. We have God. We have each other. So I want to show you three S's as we head into this week. The first one is sacrifice. 2 Corinthians 4.17 says that for our light and momentary afflictions are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them. So in other words, this is temporary. So what we're doing right now, we're sacrificing. We're sacrificing something so that we can get better. So we're, it's kind of like an exchange. We're exchanging the things that we used to do socially, like going to school, uh, going to the movies, playing sports, so that in exchange, we can get better. You have to understand that this is not the end. This is temporary, so it's just a momentary sacrifice. Next, I want to share with you the word steel. All right, steel. Another word for steel is calm. So if I can say it another way, be still or be calm. Uh, we hear a lot of different things and we have to understand that we have to be still. We have to still our minds. Now, we've been asked to be still within our homes, literally, but figuratively, we have to still our minds. We have to make sure that we don't let our minds wander into panic and worry and doubt and get us down. We have to be still. The Bible says also in Psalms, the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. That's what God was telling his people. Be still and know that I am God, which means he is still in control. The last S I want to share with you is smile. Proverbs 17, 22 says, a merry heart does good like medicine. Some people say laughter is good for the soul. I believe that's true. So to sum up this week, we are home, but we're not alone. We have God, we have each other, and I want you to think about the three S's this week. Sacrifice, steal, and smile. Be blessed.